We're back, 742, with our series, The New Space Race. And this morning, the Star Trek legend who can now truly say he has boldly gone where so few have gone before. Yeah, at the age of 90, Bill Shatner made history yesterday when he and three others shot off into space on that Blue Origin rocket, an event watched all around the world. And fresh from that voyage oh. into the final frontier, Mr. <laughs> Shatner is with us live to tell I us did. all about it. Good morning. You did it. I I hope we have a, a time enough to get through all the Im impressions. The first thing I want to say is the ironing. Uh, I have an album out there called Bill right now. It's getting great reviews. And there is a song that we wrote called So Far From The Moon, oh. in which at that time uh, that the song uh, relates to 55 years ago, I lay uh, in a pasture for a number of reasons, looking up at the sky, seeing the astronauts walk on the moon. And I was so far from the moon. Mm. And 55 years later, here I am, a little closer to the moon than mm. you guys. But the irony of it uh, strikes me. Well, you know what? I watched you right mm. after the moment you walked out mm. of that capsule. And honestly, I thought you seemed starstruck. Uh -huh. You just seemed so totally overwhelmed by the experience. You know, uh, prior to going up there, lying in that chair, trying to think of something clever to say when I came out, when, you know, if everything worked and I, 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 I see the little uh, blue orb and I, and I was trying to think of something clever to say. And then we get up and when I was there, everything I thought might be clever to say went out the window because mm -hmm. the experience going at 2,500 miles an hour, breaking through this little thin blue skin that is surrounds earth that provides us with life we broke through that with an account of one or two at 2500 miles an hour and the skin is 50 miles thick broke through and all of a sudden the blue is down below and the blackness of mm. space now space is interesting you know, the universe lies there but at that moment in that big window it was only black and ominous and that was death and this was life and everything else just stood still for a moment. I was overwhelmed with the experience, with the, with the sensation of looking at death and looking at life. And, and this, you know, what's become uh, a cliche uh, of how we need to take care of the planet. But it's so fragile. You, you, people say, oh, it's fragile. No, no, no. There's this little tiny blue skin mm. that, that uh, is 50 miles wide. And we pollute it, and it's our it's our means of, of living. That's and a, I was struck so profoundly by it. That was such a beautiful, beautiful sentiment, and it brought you to tears. So, at you're you're 90 years young. Um, what's what's I the keep, big? I keep hearing that. I keep hearing that. <laughs> and, and 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 another factor of this whole thing is I keep saying, yeah, no, I'm not 90. I ride horses or that. The whole physical experience of mounting that gantry, of getting into that chair, of being weightless, of, of having five Gs. And suddenly, as I'm coming down, I'm thinking, you know something? I'm 90 years old. <laughs> you came back, to, back down to earth. <laughs> oh, yeah. Unfortunately, yeah. 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 How did it feel physically up there for you? Well, you, we had a, a simulator. They simulate what they what they say you're going to feel, and it doesn't come anywhere near. So here you're going to be in weightlessness, and you've got to grab a hold of something. Don't push too hard with your hands. Just use your fingertips because you'll bounce off the ceiling. You can talk about weightlessness all you want, but the feeling of weightlessness, the actual feeling of Was weightlessness it fun? is indescribable. <laughs> First of all, your your guts, you don't your body doesn't have any pressure. So suddenly your body's expanding. <laughs> Secondly, you're floating, and and I don't want to turn somersaults. I don't want to throw skittles. I want to look out the window. <laughs> I mean, it, it was incredible. You can describe five Gs, but at two Gs, I was trying to raise my hand and couldn't raise my hand. Wow. And that's not just being 90. At five <laughs> Gs, everything is just being pressed, in, and you think, how long can I take this? And it's over in an instant as you hit the air, that air that I'm talking about, the 50 miles of air, comes like a thud as the spaceship hits the atmosphere, and, wow. and suddenly you're in 5Gs. And then you you know that the parachutes should deploy, and will they? Bang! <laughs> they deploy, and you think, wow. okay. 
what? I'm going to be all right unless. <laughs> and then they've got they've got boosters on the bottom of that thing, so you don't hit it too hard. And and if they don't go go off, something terrible will happen. And they do go off, and that's startling. The whole thing was indescribable. Yeah. Yeah. So th- so all this rehearsal we did, uh, training they call it. I call it rehearsal. <laughs> You're in and out of those chairs using muscles. And in this case, 90-year-old muscles that uh, are unaccustomed. Uh, I am stiff and sore and I ache. And I... <laughs> <laughs> well, you, I mean, what a thrilling 10 minutes. It had everything. And, I, we're so happy and we're that so happy you're, you're here. Back. It yes. had it everything. Good. Yeah. And, and the realization, once again, the fragility of this planet, yes, the yeah. coming uh, catastrophic event and we all have to clean this act up now well said well I, said. I, keep, I kept thinking about that saying they said when you go to space they should have sent a poet you yes. know to describe it well they kind they of did. did bill shatner thank Thanks, you bill. Thank for you. your poetry thank you so much. glad you had so much fun mm-hmm. and he's actually gonna be thank back you. in our third hour with more to share